Sexual assault at U.S. military academies is on the rise. According to a Pentagon report released earlier this month, incidents of unwanted sexual conduct, conduct contact excuse me, at the three institutions have reached their highest levels ever. Mike Gooding spoke to a former, former Army JAG officer about what the numbers mean. The U.S. Military Service Academies last year recorded the highest rate of sexual assault since the Defense Department started measuring the problem in 2006. Formally reported incidents of sexual assault went up by 18 percent to 155 cases, compared to the previous year's total of 131 reports. Broken down by individual schools, it was the worst at the United States Naval Academy, with 23.1 percent of women and 4.6 percent of men reporting unwanted sexual contact. The United States Air Force Academy came in second place. The United States Military Academy came in third. No, I don't find it surprising or shocking at all. I find it actually predictable and foreseeable. Sean Timmons is a former military JAG Corps attorney and current managing partner of the Tully Rinky Law Firm's Houston, Texas office. He says the military academy's statistics reflect an overall systematic problem in the U.S. Armed Forces. We have to do a better job um, in educating and training our young men to behave themselves properly. And that starts with changing the culture, starts with changing the recruiting criteria. It also starts with the military taking these cases a little more seriously and giving people some accurate preventative guidance that's going to try to reduce these uh, situations. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. In response to the report, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin ordered the superintendents of the military service academies to conduct on-site installation evaluations. Those have to be completed before the end of April.